So in health news, are you aware of the important role of our lungs and what they do to help us keep, keep us strong and healthy? Well, pulmonologists Mark McClelland and Glenn Van Otteren are board certified with Spectrum Health Medical Group. They're here to talk to us today about environmental triggers and new treatments for asthma and COPD, as well as general lung health, lung cancer screenings, diagnosis and treatment. Good morning to you gentlemen. Thanks Good so much morning. for being here with us Good today. Morning. So first of all, let's back up and just talk about what is pulmonology? Well, pulmonary medicine is a study of breathing and disorders that can affect the lungs. Mm -hmm. and, and, and if you want to expand on that just a little bit more, kind of, we talked about some of the diseases that pulmonology focuses on too. Sure, there's a number of different diseases that can affect the lungs. Um, asthma and COPD are two of the more common diseases. Mm -hmm. um, in addition, there's a number of diseases that could be genetic or inherited. And uh, often there's triggers in the environment that can affect uh, lung health. Okay, so we've got to talk about more about the causes and some of the symptoms. I mean, as you said, some of this is genetic, so maybe some are born with this, while other things trigger that. So if you want to go ahead and expand on that. Well, not all disorders are related to smoking. Smoking is the leading cause of preventable illness in America. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense, particularly this time uh, New Year's, a great resolution would be to try to quit smoking for those that do smoke. Mm -hmm. But there are other causes of lung disease. Um, and as a pulmonologist, we, uh, our effort is to try to identify the cause and obviously prescribe treatment for the particular uh, condition. Mm -hmm. So uh, as, as far as smoking, because you're affecting people by your secondhand smoke too, right? True. That's a big deal. Yeah, correct. And in fact, we, we really work with patients and help them to quit smoking. Mm -hmm. um, we find that many of our patients are interested in quitting and are motivated to quit, but they just sometimes they're looking for some assistance and we're there to help them with that, either with medications or sometimes uh, behavioral type things as well. How do you go ahead and diagnose that? Maybe someone's just having maybe a case of pneumonia or something like that. So how do you go ahead and, and run those tests and what do you do for these patients to pinpoint what they have? Great. Good question. There are a variety of tests uh, that we do. Uh, breathing tests, pulmonary function tests are where we have a patient breathe into a tube and we can measure airflow mm -hmm. to determine if there are limitations. Um, other studies such as x-rays or CAT scans or even PET scans now are tools where we can get very uh, fine detail of the lungs, the architecture of the lungs and determine if there are abnormalities present. Uh, and sometimes uh, we will do what's called bronchoscopy where we take a special scope and actually can enter into the airways and look for disorders of the breathing tubes. Mm -hmm. Have you found in your studies too or just what you guys have been doing for so many years that maybe people go many years and they don't notice any problems and all of a sudden it's kind of like something just triggers and sets them off later in life? Yeah, that's, that's often the case. Mm -hmm. um, as it turns out, we have more lung function than we sort of need for our day-to-day -day routine existence. Mm -hmm. So often people can lose some lung function uh, for a while before they really realize there's something wrong. Right. So it's important that they seek care early uh, for symptoms. Yeah, and when we talk about genetics, it's uh, you know every time we go to the doctor, they always want to know your history and sure. talk about maybe how important that is to bring up these types of discussions when they go to see someone like you to to really pinpoint, you know what this is. Your family has a history of this kind of stuff. So um, how does that play a role in in diagnosing too? Well, it's particularly important with lung cancer. We know now that uh, certain families have a higher incidence of unusual type of lung cancers, and so we'll have a higher degree of suspicion if someone comes uh, with a family history mm -hmm. of cancer. And there are many other respiratory conditions that have a genetic predisposition, so that's a very key mm -hmm. historical uh, component. And one way for people to come and hear some, some great discussion about this type of stuff are your, your doctor dialogues that you guys have. You have one coming up if you want to go ahead and talk about uh, when it is and, and what will take place there. Yes, uh, we have a doctor dialogue coming up on January 12th. Uh, where Dr. Van Otteren and I will speak about many different issues in lung health. We'll talk about asthma and COPD and some, some treatment options available. We'll talk about some new screening initiatives for lung cancer, mm -hmm. as well as lung cancer diagnosis and treatment, um, as well as uh, general uh, lung health. There'll be a lot of time for questions and answers at the end, and uh, we're really looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. As far as what we can do to help keep our lungs healthy, other than the not smoking, that sort of thing, are there some daily recommendations you can give to us? Regular exercise is super important for those people that do have a respiratory condition. What's called pulmonary rehab is a structured uh, form of exercise mm -hmm. with particular muscles that help with breathing. And um, I also wanted to say at our doctor dialogue, we hope to have some technicians with us so that we can actually do simple breathing tests for people. So 
we hope to be able to offer that service. Well, I think as people try to tackle that New Year's resolution of getting into shape, they'll understand that their lungs really aren't in <laughs> quite tip-top shape as they need to be. But um, thank you so much for stopping by. And we want to mention, too, that um, if people cannot go to the Dr. Dialogue, there are two ways you can actually get in touch. Uh, the, the pulmonology department is located at 4100 Lake Drive Southeast, so reach out to them. Their phone number is 616-267-8244. And then the Lung Mass Clinic and MST are located at Spectrum Health Center, uh, Cancer Center at Lemon Holton Cancer Pavilion, right downtown. That's at 145 Michigan Street, Suite 4100. Their phone number is 616-486-5993. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you, Leah. Thanks. Absolutely.